fans. My name is Ben Callamer with the Movie Review. Uh, I have the pleasure of uh, speaking with one of the actors from um, uh, one of the movies that was shared at the festival many years ago. Would you mind introducing yourself in the movie that you starred in, please? Yeah, I will. Uh, my name is Torkel Pettersson, and uh, I was in the movie Patrick, uh, or Patrick, as we say in Sweden, 1.5. Uh, and I don't know exactly which year you mean that it uh, opened in your festival, but maybe you can fill in that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, most certainly. Uh, I, I, I'll have to look into it. Uh, I've only been recently associated <laughs> with the festival, so um, I'm, I'm getting the opportunity to uh, I think look it, at it was about 2011 or something. Okay. Okay. 10, 12 years ago. Okay. Uh, and it was that, about, you know, this gay couple that wanted to adopt a child and then when there was some mix up with the numbers and they, they got instead of a, a very small baby that they were waiting for, they, <laughs> they uh, had a teenage homophobian teenager, oh. very angry, coming to this uh, gay couple family. <laughs> But then, of course, that this was a rom-com. Uh, after some problems, things mm -hmm. went very well. <laughs> uh, yeah. What served as the inspiration for you to want to take on this role in this movie? Uh, well, I think uh, one of our uh, goals uh, as an actor, and, and the mo first we wanted to to do, uh, the director wanted to do, uh, she often said that I want this to be a beautiful, you know, uh, it should be a real romantic movie, a gay movie that was a little bit, you know, uh, not too uh, social realistic, but, but you know, a little bit, I don't, what's the world, a little bit um, glittery and, you know, because it had a very, uh, uh political topic that was important but she also wanted the movie to be uh, easy and light uh, as, as a rom-com mm -hmm. uh, so that was one of our goals and then uh, another goal was to um to not to um when you make it when, when you're not a gay yourself you of course and you're an actor you you want to don't want to play cliche of a, of a gay person uh, you want to so i i did a lot of research uh, about uh, different types of expressing your homosexuality if you were uh, to going to be female or more male uh, gay or something <laughs> yeah. and, and, what, and which ones were the most common and, and which ones uh, was the one that I was going to pick for my role, and and uh, that was uh, to to make the persons feel real, of course. Mm -hmm. And then um, the story, of course, was much about you know to um, maybe to uh, you know about when you have this uh, 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 what do you say? ideas of how something is going to be how some people are and as this young gay young person came to this family and and then the story was about that he was going to you know see that those adults uh, the gay couple were not as he has prevented or uh, been thinking in his mind well, so accepting that humans are humans so whatever sexuality that they have so it's uh to, to make this uh things for real and and uh, and, uh, and uh you know to, to make the story good so that was our goal i think because it is a good story um i wanted to i wanted to ask you um uh, in the years, in the t 11 or 12 years since uh, the film uh, was shared with the festival, how did the audience react to 
the movie then and how does an audience react today? Because times have certainly changed, especially within the uh, past decade. Um, and I think appreciation for um, LGBTQ cinema has also changed. And so you're a part of the reason for that change. Um, and uh, as I said, I was just curious about how it was received then and uh, how it's received now. Uh, I don't really know how it's received now, but I can tell you about how it was received then a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, especially I was told by the di director Ella Lemhagen, she is uh, the director of the movie, she uh, after some years after it had premiere in Sweden, she went around the world because there was so much, I didn't know that uh, LBTQ uh, festivals around the world, uh, it looked like every small city and big city in Australia, Japan, and they had festivals like this, mm -hmm. uh, maybe more now, but uh, I didn't know about them, but she could like travel around the world, several wharves and, and um, you know, talk about uh, the movie. And, and, and she told me that it was quite a sensitive topic in, in many, as I think in India or uh, Sri Lanka or some, some of the, countries there that they they know no we can't show it at all it's too uh, and and then it's still uh, quite soft it's it's not very uh, you know the naked scenes are, are not so specific and you know it's quite a family movie i think it's it's um it's very kind and, and uh, that but but uh there were some reactions back in those days that I remember that that uh, and even the the you know the in Sweden the the owners of the 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 cinemas in in the small towns they would not take the film because they didn't believe that uh, you know the the people on the countryside were, were ready for this <laughs> right to, to see a gay movie so they they no no you know the 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 farmers <laughs> those people they they kind of they they won't pay tickets for this we gotta have superman or something else but uh but i think as as you say this was uh it even then it was surprising for me that 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 uh we hadn't because me as i, I grew up in a, in a bigger town maybe and my my people my parents were like semi-intellectual you know going to the university so i had my picture of, of a it was that the world has come a little bit more far in this thinking about homosexuality and, and different uh, sexual uh, you know, per, per, per references <laughs> and uh, but um, but uh, actually it hadn't back in the 2000s and 11 and 12. So that was surprising for me, and um, and now I don't know because now we have, as you say, an explosion of, of those topics. You know, LBTQ. It's uh, it's much more um, everywhere, and we have uh, on the theater where I work, we we have uh, plans for having you know people from different countries and people with different genders coming in so everything to be equal so after me too especially it, it kind of exploded all those things but but maybe i think that this is and this is my private thought this is on the maybe for real it has, hasn't happened so much because on the, if you say very, um, this is, but the, but the intellectual people in the town, the cultural people, they have their own reality. And yes. then <laughs> everybody else is still the same. That maybe that's the problem. And, and I think that's the problem of the whole world's problems, you know, that you have a, a big, uh, you know, a big dip, a big cliff, a big, uh, 
uh, it's very big difference between the people who live in the cities and the intellectual people and the people that don't feel that they belong there and that, that, that that's what my conclusion is okay <laughs> over and out <laughs> no that 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 was uh, that was the perfect answer acceptance is a very powerful thing and um i have uh one last question um is it possible for someone like me who has not seen your film to go out on maybe Netflix or Amazon or even YouTube to be able to see your movie today? Yes. Uh, um, now your sound is also jumping a little bit. No worries. But, well, uh, I heard the question, is it able to, to watch the movie on Netflix or any of the streaming platforms? Yes. And I think it is, but I don't know how it works. I only know that it works when I'm sitting here in Sweden and, and I put on my Netflix or my Seymour or my HBO Max. Okay. Uh, I think it's on Seymour or HBO Max or both. Okay. I don't think it's on Netflix. But when I'm looking for a movie, I'm Googling it and then I yes. get some, you, you can watch it here. And, uh, and I don't know if the if the if the Swedish Netflix is uh, is the same as the United States Netflix. We don't have the same uh, no. the same movies in the catalog. I think. No, they they are different. Um, but some titles are available around the world, and yeah. some are exclusive to regions like Sweden or Europe in general. Um, so, uh, no, um, thank you for, thank you for sharing that. Uh, Torkel, it has been a genuine pleasure uh, to be able to speak with you today. Um, and I wonder if you have any um, final words to share with our audience, uh, uh, any, any words of wisdom uh, that you'd like to share with the audience. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is your audience? It's is it uh, Phoenix people or is it people around the whole world or um, people around the world are going to be able to see this, but it's specifically geared to or uh, directed towards Phoenix. Okay. Well, where is Phoenix situated in the in the United States? Is it in the middle or east or west or uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's, that that's, no, no, but... that's that's okay. It's right on the border uh, with Mexico and California in the southwest part of the country. So it's quite hot and. Uh, yeah. Is it by the Mexican Gulf? It's not by the sea. Uh, no, it's not by the sea. Um, it um, <laughs> uh, it uh, I can get to the sea uh, within about five hours if I want to, but oh. otherwise it's it's mostly desert. As a matter of fact, um, for uh, today uh, or yesterday, excuse me, uh, it was 48 Celsius here. Ooh. Yeah, and okay. and it's only what getting is, warmer. So, what is Phoenix? Is it is it like an industri industrial city or is it? more like you know with you maybe i have what, what is it famous for you know you have the um some soccer teams or something um the uh arizona cardinals are our american <laughs> football team okay yep um <laughs> yep uh uh arizona diamondbacks are our baseball team um, Arizona, uh, the Arizona Coyotes are our hockey team. Oh, you have, everything. yeah, and then you have a big film uh, industry, maybe also. Uh, our film industry is getting bigger. Um, the uh, the uh, state government uh, had tax incentives at one point for film productions. And uh, the government let mm -hmm. that lapse or end. And so um, as a result, we've seen um, fewer productions here 
But um, one of our landmarks that we are known for is the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that's something really special. Yeah, um, and, and that's probably our biggest uh, claim to fame, if you'll excuse the expression. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, some final words could be, you know, a big thing in Sweden that's happening right now is that we're getting a member of the NATO. <laughs> no, oh, yes, yes. Are. So actually, uh, I'm in the south of Sweden now. Sweden is a very long country, and we have north, and we have the south. South is more close to Copenhagen, and then Europe, and everything. And and here we uh, just some minutes uh, outside my this not my my girlfriend's summer residence. We have a big area that's that's uh, for training militaries, you know. So okay. so if, if I go with car five minutes, I could look at the United States forces <laughs> driving through <laughs> through the <laughs> small woods of Sweden. So, mm -hmm. so the world mm -hmm. is um, in a way getting smaller. But uh, I never uh, did the, um, the military school that is uh, compulsory in, in Sweden, but um, because I send a letter to to our uh, foreign minister or stats minister, as we said, and said this was during the Cold War also. And, and I wrote that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 50, uh, no, I was uh, six, 16 years old and I'm very afraid of the Cold War and I can't sleep because when I hear sounds, I think it's atomic bombs <laughs> exploding. <laughs> and I was like, you know, telling him about my fear for, for the war and everything. And then I took this letter and, and showed to the uh, where you sign in for the military and said, look, I have problems with the, with the violence and everything. So, so please give me free. Yes. And, and they approved of it. So that's, amazing. So, uh, that's it. That's amazing. And uh, otherwise, I just want to say uh, love to you all from Sweden. And uh, I hope you have a good life and look at a lot of movies. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Torkel. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.